night, just one week after Rockland Unified School District reopened for in-person learning, three students have now tested positive for coronavirus. CBS 13's Adrian Moore is getting answers on the protocols now in place. That's the first time I've heard of it, but I would assume more and more people are going to test positive for it. A surprise lesson no one at Whitney High School was eager to learn. It's obviously going to cause more exposure and the chance of people becoming infected. Three students test positive for coronavirus just nine days after returning to campus, forcing another 15 students and one teacher into quarantine. I, I respect the, their, their actions and I think they acted appropriately. So what protocols are in place now? The school, which is in Placer County, falls under the state's red tier, which allows individual school district boards to decide whether to continue in-person instruction or shift to distance learning after positive cases are reported. Tuesday night, Rockland Unified voted to continue in-person learning with its current hybrid model until at least January 8th. Well, I think with the hybrid learning and continuing on with the students going to school, it's still going to have that risk of, of it spreading and continuing on. In a statement, the district tells CBS 13, those who are in close contact will quarantine as per public health guidelines. Instruction to those students will continue through established distance learning models. Placer County Health and Safety Guidelines require the three infected students to isolate for 10 days. A negative COVID test is not required before they return. Those exposed must quarantine for 14 days and are encouraged to be tested before heading back to class. Nearly 1,400 of Rockland's 13,000 students have opted to continue full distance learning. 